coffee. No coffee and it's not no. Milk. You're eating. It's not mine yet. Well, then don't eat it. This is my milk, and I'm going to guzzle it right now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Is there a garbage bag around? Yes, yes, right here, right here. But that's not my coffee. I don't drink coffee. The garbage bag is not going to come to you, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was that, Miss? It's my coffee. It's my I made a mistake. That's okay. Yeah. That's all right. As long as we, we make a mistake and we stop it. Because they, they're pretty strict about that. That's why we had the coffee downstairs. Okay, we're going to start the meeting now. Call the meeting to order. We have the A building here. B building is not here. C is here. D is here. D is here. D is here. And uh, one of the directors is not here. But we have a call. Okay. Approval of the minutes. You want the mic? <clears throat> Cornwall Association Board Meeting, Boards, <coughs> Board of Directors Meeting, Thursday, October 19, 2023. Meeting was called to order by President Michael Lemongelli at 10, 10 a.m. Roll call was taken and present were Diana Stilwell, Bertha Wexler, Michael Lemongelli, Lynn Roberts, Curtis Stoner, and Harvey Solomon. Absent was Seal Wartridge and Milton Fishberger. Minutes for September 21, 2023. Meeting was read by Diana Stilwell. Lynn Roberts motion to accept the minutes, seconded by Curtis Stoner. <clears throat> there was no treasurer's report. New business. Presentation from reserve anal analyst Sundeep J of J.R. Fraser Incorporated. Reserve study. What reserves are needed now and in the future to maintain assets? It's our responsibility to replenish funds. Every condo association is doing this. Old laws. Reserve for roofing, painting, paving, anything costing $10,000 or more. Could choose to waive reserves with quorum vote. New laws. No longer vote of quorum. Need majority to vote to partially fund reserves. This is all because of Surfside Collapse. Three-story or, or, three or taller need integrity study by 2024. Roofing, painting, waterproofing, concrete, electric, plumbing, fireproofing, doors, windows, common areas belong on SIRS Structural Integrity Reserve Study. <clears throat> Any budgets adopted after December 2024 must be fully funding reserve. <clears throat> fully funded catch up now and fully funding include shortage funding. <clears throat> Two methods of calculating. Pool of funds not for specific term, I'm sorry, not for specific item. Def deficit funding into the near future. It's more flexible prioritizing on reserves. Straight line method or restricted reserve for specific item cannot be used for something else. Reserve study was not previously required by the state of Florida. First service used best not acknowledged at the time. Reserve study never done before. Things behind the wall didn't have to be included. Uh, need, to at, need to at least increase for inflation each year recommends reserve study be done every three years. Motion to change from the straight line to the pool of funds budget method. Pool of funds will prioritize order in which we accomplish projects. We have money to do work when needed with less deficit. Biggest downside to pool of funds might be an assessment if not, if don't adjust numbers each year. <clears throat> Motion to approve pool of funds budget Method made by Michael Lemongelli, seconded by Diana Stelwell, unanimously passed. Budget for 2024. Major items contributing to the increase include insurance up to 50%, fire operating systems, two buildings had issues with alarms, miscellaneous repairs, SIRS, elevator funding. There was a motion by Lynn Roberts, seconded by Bertha Wexler, to mail, met, to mail residents the 2024 proposed Budget, the motion passed unanimously. <clears throat> Good and welfare. Discussed safety and security upgrades with entry and exit points monitored by video. Ron is collecting estimates for cameras. Lynn Roberts motion to adjourn meeting, seconded by Kerner Soda. 
Meeting ended 11.25 a.m. <clears throat> I make a motion to accept the minutes. Second. I'll second it. Okay. Accept it. All Any discussion? All in vote. All in okay, we'll vote. Discussion and vote. Discussion on that particular? If you want to make a discussion. Do you want to make a discussion yeah. on the discussion. particular uh, okay. minutes I just read? Okay. No. Get, get it's, it's for the board. It's for the board. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Get this another. I have another minute after we're doing this one. This Excuse one. me, point of order? Yes. Uh, we have to approve each minute one by one. You That's don't approve said. all your minutes at once. No. No, we're just we're doing that now. Yeah. One? We just I can't hear you, Mike. We just approved this. We're having the other one now. Well, we didn't have a discussion on it. You didn't ask it. just said discussion. Just said. I, I, I thought I heard somebody behind me say she had a question. Who has a question? Who has a question? All right. Nobody does. No one has a question. No one's answering. Oh, no. no one has a question. That's supposed to be kind of you. You didn't see it. Okay. I'll, I'll yes. Ask yes. <laughs> On the minutes. On the minutes. What is fully funded number? What's the fully funded number? It's fully funding, not fully funded. funded. An ING after the end. Fully funding. Fully okay. funding. What's the number we're targeting for that? I don't know off the, off the top of my head. Do we have it? Right? Ron, do you have the fully funded number? It's on the resident portal, the reserves budget. I don't have a copy of it with me. You might have to check the reserves as far as the actual budget and the numbers that we just posted. But if you want to know what's how much every month we put away for the fully funding? What we're targeting, we're agreeing with it in the minutes to target a certain number. I'm curious, wouldn't anybody want to know what that number is? It was discussed at that meeting. Oh, oh. That's, they're just the minutes is strictly a recap of what happened. Usually right. if you have okay, any got it. discrepancies with what was accepted to what we're this talking about. Note. Okay. Yes, miss. Could you repeat the question? I can't hear it. The, the question was, can we Zoom meetings? So I said, but we asked it. They said it's hard to Zoom from this. It's not that meeting. It's that two meetings ago. No, I was doing a I don't have that on my notes. This is a two meeting. That was two meetings ago. I did October. This is October. It's November. Okay, go. First of all, good and well fit us. Are you guys all in favor of approving the first minute? Yes, I think they did. Okay, let's go. Cornwall Association Board Annual Budget Meeting, Thursday, November 16, 2023. Meeting was called to order by President Michael Lemangeli at 10.08 a.m. Roll call was taken and present with Diana Stilwell, Bertha Wexler, Michael Lemangeli, Lynn Roberts, Curtis Stoner, and Harvey Solomon. Absent was Seal Wartridge and Milton Fishberger. A quorum was present. M motion was made by Michael Lemangeli to accept the proposed 2024 budget to the 20 as the 2024 budget. The unit's annual payments being due in 12 equal installments being due on the first day of each month <clears throat> starting in January 24. Lynn Roberts seconded the motion. Ron Ripple from First Service fielded questions regarding the proposed budget. There were no questions from the board. Several questions from residents were asked and, asked and answered by Ron. The coupon increase for the two unit sizes are one bedroom, $165.80. The new coupon will be $436.48. Two bedroom, increase 191.20. New coupon will be $493.20. The primary reasons for the large increase are due to insurance costs, structural repairs, and adjustments to reserves. Board vote was taken to approve the 2024 budget, which passed unanimously. Lynn Roberts' motion to adjourn meeting, seconded by Curtis Stone, a meeting ending at 10.41 a.m. <clears throat> okay, we need motion to accept the minutes. I make a motion to accept the minutes. You second it, Harvey? All in favor? And a question. 
Okay. All in favor? Aye. Right. So wait, wait a minute. You didn't ask if they want to ask a question. You just I said, said anybody had nobody raised their hand. You, didn't, you, you just said all in favor. No, I did. You have put your hearing aids. I'll, I'll check my. I'll check my tape, and I'll, check you'll tape. refrain from making fun of my disability, Baldy. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding you too. Okay. Treasurer's report. Lynn, you're going to give the treasurer's report? We don't have one. I have a question today. Yes. Shh. Hold it. Aside from my thoughts, you just stand here. Let's keep quiet. Come on. Discussions. What's that? This is on the this is on the minutes. This is on the minutes. Well, I don't think the amount. We come on. This was referred to in the minutes. What are you talking about? The pooled reserve analysis worksheet. Yes. That was an attachment which you reviewed. And I have a question to the whole. Okay, what's the question? Yes. Okay, okay. You can, we'll give you a chance to talk. This is just this is saying what happened. Now, if you disagree with what happened or you want to bring it up, it's under old business. Okay. Okay. I thought you. I thought you. Yes, but that Approving was only one minute. is very standard. You don't have questions on minutes. No. You and the board would have a question. That's, that's on why. Minutes. That's why we're going to let you talk on the old business. Okay. okay. Now you can talk because we're going to old business. <laughs> old business. See, if you had waited one second, you would have been able to talk. Old business. Yes, sir. Tell us, please, tell us who you are, and where you live. I'm Bob Ness. And you want to come up here? What's that? Talking about old business. Okay, so but there's a loan. There's a loan update. The loan is on old business. Yes. Yeah. 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 Let's just get started. Let's listen to him first. Yeah, come up here. Get, you take the mic. What, hope, as long as I get a chance to speak. Yeah, come on up and see. I'm going to give you the mic. If you come up, no, please come up because the people in the back can't hear the question. <coughs> I'm sorry I'm responding to this now, but I went away to New York and then I got sick for three weeks. But we all got this pooled Hold the microphone. reserve analysis worksheet. Talk into the mic, please. Right? We, we got this pooled analysis worksheet. And what I saw on, on, on what was the makeup of what we're going to be paying, and I don't know whether it's January 24th or January 1st. Is our next payment January 24th? No, January of 2024. Oh, 2024, okay. New Year's Day, it's due. Okay. Okay, so, so based on this uh, worksheet, and what I saw was that the, the major increases were due to an increase in insurance because of that building collapse and other issues, and there was an analysis of the pooled reserve, and the money came... On the bottom of this worksheet, bottom of this worksheet, it shows totals, but then it comes down to annual contribution, which is $884,000. When I extend the cost per replacement, the expected years to replace, which is the way you set up the reserve, I come up with 494000 So I see about $400,000 that have been included. And I'm just in, implying that we under-reserved all these years, but the $494,000 is quite a sum of money. So we must have been under-reserving for over an extended period. When you prepare a reserve worksheet, you update it every year. You determine when you find out the cost increase, then you extend it out and you budget for that each going forward. You don't just come up with a fixed amount for the roof. You, you, the building repair, and, and the key thing is the roof. Where is it? The building repair. It's the repair and maintenance. 750000 over two years, two years remaining, over five years, that's $150,000 each year you reserve. But if that amount doubled, you should set up and reestablish your reserve so that you don't come out with a doubling of your reserve amount in one year, and that's what's happening this year, it appears to me, because on the bottom says annual contribution, 884000 and when I take the total cost of replacement 
and the annual years I come up with 494,000. So it's pretty obvious that we have a method of not adjusting the reserve as events come become apparent. I don't know if it's the uh, first service or if it's the board, but we're now having to almost, uh, what is it, 80% or something? We're increasing our, our annual, our monthly payment is going to increase like 80%. And that shouldn't happen every year. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen one shot because a lot of people here are barely living on their Social Security. They're down in their balances and they're barely making it. And all of a sudden, $300 onto your monthly payment is an extreme burden, which could have been anticipated in the past. So it's pretty obvious, it's pretty obvious that we're not, we're not identifying the reserve and, and adjusting it as we go on for expected expenditures. And, and that's one of the reasons why you have this, the new loan, too, because we didn't anticipate the building collapsed a year and a half ago. It's pretty obvious that the state, if the state mandates increase in insurance, and insurance companies do, and I saw it in my insurance for my condo, that we should anticipate having to pay more each year. We shouldn't have to take a one lump sum. That's what it appears to me. Our annual contribution has about three hundred fifty to $400,000 more than I would anticipate on an annual basis. That's all. So I think the way we estimate and create all this is, is not updated and maintained. And we don't report on this every year. I would like to schedule the show more than just these three lines and in black columns. This is half of a worksheet. That's all. Okay. It seems pretty obvious to me. I don't know why it's, you know. Sure. You want to answer it? Okay. First of all, we did not underfund all these years. Bob, I'm talking to you. Yes. Okay. We have added at least four items on our reserve that were never there before. I don't see it up here. So you well, have pool reserves, annual analysis. For if you would go on to the uh, onto our web, report. if you go on to our website. I don't need it. This is what our pool reserve is, and if it's not included in here, then it's 884,000. It's not. Supported. If you would go on to our website and check what we have on our on our monthly statements that we get from first service here, you, you have this on your website, and you can see exactly what we were fend, funding, and what we're going to be funding now in 2024. But there were four items that were never funded, that was never required of us to fund. Uh, what I'm saying is what I got in the mail is incomplete and raises questions. We sh if the, the website shows the information, it should be presented to us. We okay, can, can I just, can I just, before you start clapping, okay? We had hired a company called Fraser Consulting. He did an, an in-depth analysis of what our reserves are going to be needed going forward. That will continue it wasn't a one-shot deal with Frazier. So when you allude to what's going to be next year and the year after, we will, be, we will keep updating the reserves. Now, for the people who came to previous meetings, you'll understand that when we had to replace the roof, which is what we have to do right now, the original amount of money that was put in was $2 million dollars, and the lowest bid was $3.2 million. That's the majority of the loan that we're taking out. The other part of it, the other part of a big chunk of that, of uh, or close to $400,000, and all of this was discussed. I'm assuming this was all discussed at previous meetings because I discussed this with, with the group. So this is not anything new. If you, hold on a second, I listen to you, so you have to, you listen now, okay? So the other part is structural. The structural repairs that have to be done in the buildings was based on what happened in Surfside, Florida. These are all things that we did not, you couldn't prepare for. And what Lynn is talking about are things that were never included in structural repairs for the building, such as plumbing, electrical. All of those things were passed by the, le by the state legislator. Am I correct, Fred? Yes. So this is something that we're not, we not, it's not that we want to do this to everybody. Look, we're owners here as well. 
we're getting hit just as well as anybody else here. There's no difference between the people sitting on the table here. You know, we're paying the same amounts as everybody else. So when you ask those questions, they have been discussed ad nauseum at previous meetings. The information is on the portal, as Lynn alluded to. So to come up here and start asking questions, and you have every right to ask a question, you're, you're a unit owner, but you're like assuming that we've done something wrong in the past. What's happened in the past, we weren't responsible for a lot of this stuff that's showing up right now. And so we're starting fresh now to make sure that we don't get hit. We're not the only association in the village that's getting hit with big increases. So uh, if, if uh, Mike wants to say a few words. What I'm talking about is I know what you're talking about. So I know what you're talking about. You told us three times what you're talking about. So we want to. So now we want to talk about what you. Wait a minute. Now we want to talk about what we want to talk about. Do you want to listen or not? I listen to you. Did I interrupt you? Did I, sir? Did I interrupt you? Did I? Did I interrupt you? Did I tell you we're wrong? Did I interrupt you? Don't interrupt me. Okay. That's how we run these meetings. You can talk all you want, but you can't interrupt anybody. I won't let you interrupt them. They won't interrupt you. What happened was plumbing and electricity. The state came in because of what happened in Miami. Every every association is raising it. We all got caught with new things that we have to do. It's like owning a house. If you own a house and the state comes in and says, well, you know, you have to change your water fixtures. You say, but we never did that before, but you have to do it now. So you, so you put aside $10 to fix your water fixtures. All of a sudden, it's $20. Your wife says to you, you don't know what you're doing. What do you mean I don't know what I'm doing? I put ten dollars aside, but the state says you had to pay twenty. Why did you put the twenty aside? Because you never assumed it, and we never assumed it. It's the same thing, sir, as running a house. Yes. Okay. I, I have no problem with that. Every, everywhere in the world, we're all faced with the same thing. I have no problem and understand this. My bone of contention is, over all the years, why the condo fees weren't increased a little, at least. Insurance? A few, not insurance. The, the condo fee, I don't know what you call them here, your tickets, the your association the fees, the not assessment, maintenance. The, the maintenance, whatever you pay every month, why the, the coupons, coupons. The coupons. Why they, they wanted to live cheap, were, were, weren't increased, I'm not telling you 10%, 5% a year, anything, because they haven't been significantly increased in the nine years that I'm here, just maybe this blow would have been a little less. Mm. That's all I'm saying. I, I agree with I agree this. With it has to two, be done. If these two, if the state did not mandate plumbing and electricity and other things, it would have remained the same. We budgeted, we budgeted on things that we were supposed to budget. All of a sudden, the state said, just a minute. All of a sudden, the state said, wait a minute. You have to budget for this. So we budgeted for it. We didn't have the money. I agree. And we're not the I'm only not association. In I'm not in disagreement. Right. The, the blow over the years with it, the blow. Just, just a minute. We, we, wait a minute. Mike, can I just say something? You know, one year we, one year we had a $20 increase. Right. I cannot tell you what happened. Oh, I know. But how people were furious. We budgeted, just a minute. We budgeted every year to cover all of our expenses, not knowing that the state was going to come in with something new. So it's like doing something in your house. You budget stuff for your house, and all of a sudden the state comes in and says, wait a minute, you have to fix this. And you say, but I didn't put money aside for that. They say, if you don't fix this, we're going to find you. So you have to find the money. So that's what happened to us. We hired, we hired someone by the name of Frazier that came in and said, this is what you have to do. That's what they do for the future, and we have a plan. Right. Yeah, I'm not either. I don't understand. We have to do a garage inspection, or in, in five years, we have to do our pointing inspection. You will know. We, today, once we know what we have to do, the added dishes. So, but, but every year, we increase cost of living, any, anything. Just we never had to do that because we always had the money. Yeah, but everything goes up every year. Yeah, but we, we, we did increase it. We did increase it. Well, 
Well, not by any significant. But not enough. 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 But but you don't understand. We we did that. But the state came in and said you have to do something extra. That's why it's extra. Don't, you don't understand. Yes, Marilyn. People complain even for the low amounts. They complain the low. We can change the past. We can only move forward. Yes. And this is what we're stuck with. Nobody likes it. Right. I don't like it. I don't like it either. It. But we're stuck with it. Either we do this or we do what? So we have to do it. That's it. Let me, so let me just say a few words. Roz, listen for a second. Let Meryl no. finish. Mar when we let, let Meryl finish. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Meryl. I'm just saying, can we move forward, please? Because we can debate this the rest of the time. Thank you. Okay, let me just get something straight. Because uh, when we got a quote on the roof about two years ago or whatever, was it not, if I'm misunderstanding it, about $2 million? I think a little bit over. Just a little bit over. Okay, okay I'm not squibbling about that. How much now do we have to pay? A million two hundred more. So in the in the in the last two years, the price went up a million over a million dollars for the roof. So previously, as we're putting away money, if I'm not mistaken, we're figuring a two million dollar plus cost of living every year. All of a sudden now, it didn't go to two point two million, two point three million. It went to three over three million dollars. So they get hit with a million dollars in one shot. Whoever figured that something's going to go up 40, 50 percent? Wait, insurance? How much did insurance go up? Because there's other condos too. I'm in other buildings involved. And they all went up. How much did the insurance go up? How much? Last year, I think, was 40 percent. 40, 50? Give or take 40, 50 percent. Now, who, previous years, who's going to figure, hey, we better put away 600 a month because, hey, insurance could go up double almost like in other buildings. So they got hit with the same increases in other buildings. So wait, wait. So if that's the logic you always want to take, then whatever we're paying now, and it's figured out on the numbers we're dealing with today, Realistically. then we better put away an extra $100 a month because insurance can go up in two years 30% again. I'm just saying, and I'm not saying, but I'm just saying if you want to take that approach, then you always got to put away a lot more money because in certain things may not go with inflation. You know, insurance may jump another 20, 30 percent, and, and other expenses. So, in, and now, not only that, I believe we're going to be much closer, uh, like Mill said, they're going to be checking the things. So that's why it went up this year, because certain things, the roof and the insurance, threw everything out of whack. Mike? Yes. Well, she had to think about it. Yes. This is a big headache for you. You didn't bring the headache on. You're just trying to work for us on our behalf. So I just want to say thank you. Um, I just want to understand the loan. How much is the loan for? What are the terms of the loan? How many? Finish and the loan is next. Oh, is it next? Yes, okay. Next. Okay. Yes. Mike, we're not asking you to defend what you did in the past, to come up with reasons. We know the stories. We know the loan is different than this. We're not asking for that. We're asking for people to anticipate. If people are going to fight $20 every every increase, if people, you will know. Then, 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 then you've got to fight. The board has to fight that. Now that we know, you know? now no, that but, we know what could possibly okay. happen, we have an expert okay. to tell us. The thing I got, I got, <coughs> let me finish. Is, is that when the building collapsed and it was told that the, the owners of the building refused to get refurbishments and building <coughs> renovations that were recommended and the building was suspect and they didn't pay. When we heard that, when the building collapsed, we don't have to worry about this, whether the state's going to hit us with another burden or anything. We have to respond to that because that could happen. Our buildings are aged. They're in good shape, we assume. And we should work forward. That's what we're all asking about. We're not talking about progressive response to what you did. 
because I know, because I could say eight years ago when I came in here and I said, I wanted to, I got interested in the board, but then I got shied away because they said, where are the reserves? Oh, the reserves are in there. I didn't see any reserves. So me as a, uh, as an, as an owner, I don't see the information and I don't, I should have to look it up. And, and So anyway, we need to make some progressive improvements to manage this. Because costs are going up, primarily for insurance and the, and the building, the protection of the building and all. We don't, just don't, we just don't paint it every four years, you know? We don't have anything against what you I know, did. but what, what makes you think we're not doing that? We hired an expert to tell us what the increase is. Well, because you waited to the state to give you an increase in insurance when the building collapsed three, four years ago. The, the building collapsed. Let Nobody me tell you, you know what happened to that building collapse? There's a man named Rosenthal was on television, and they interviewed him. I'll never forget it as long as I live. He said, Mr. Rosenthal, what happened here? He said, the pool was leaking. They wanted to assess us to do all the, the, the buildings we pay as $800 a month. They said it was a, like another mortgage. We refused to do it. The buildings collapsed. He said, I was lucky. I was out. All my friends died. He said, because they wouldn't pay the money. Now. That's right. Now, we know we have to pay the money now, so we, that's what we're doing. We're, making the, we're paying the money now so that if right. there are any fault, the buildings... Let me assure you, we had, a, well, we had an engineer come in, the engineer checked all the buildings. We know what possibly is going to happen in the future. We hired someone who, Ron, did we hire someone who is an expert on telling us what the reserves are for the, they, they that advise Fraser. us? That's the reserve right? study Fraser, that's available right? on the residential so report. Just now happened in the past. From the future, from now, Fraser will tell us, the engineer will tell us what we have to do, Fraser will tell us how much it costs. That's it. See, I, I don't think you need, you get information from people who you are, from Fraser or whomever, just as for a service, but you have to inquire about it. When, we, when we, we, we have a contract with them. We don't have to, we already inquired. We have con a three-year contract with them, Ron. Uh, yeah, we have a contract with Fraser. Oh, and Fraser tells us, all right, we're going to get off the subject. But Fraser, who's an expert, tells us you have to put so much aside because the engineer told us you have to do that, and that's what we're doing. Yes, Al. Three years ago, I was a big advocate for the roof replacement due to damage to my roof. The cost of that roof, those roofs, in that day, okay, did you save up enough money from three years ago to today to what the cost is today to put those roofs on? We or that are we in a deficit where you could have got away with it cheaper than three years ago, but you wanted to stretch it to 20 years, every bit of it, and they were worn no, down. No, we didn't want to do it. But you brought in a contractor here to contractor put a foam rubberized roof, and you stopped right there. We brought in someone who told us, you know what they told us? They said you got more life. You know what they told us this year? We got five more years. Is that correct? Yeah. We, we went to someone that said, why are you fixing the roof? Well, the difference Ron, is that the price correct? from back then to the price today, did you save enough money to compensate for that difference three you years know, later? Did you go up this much, Al? Did you? you it should have been done you're three years ago. Contracted. It should have been done three years just a ago. Minute. You're a contractor. Okay. You're con wait a minute. You're a contractor? Listen, wait, I'm not at that capacity. Okay. Wait a minute. You want to replace a water heater. How much did it cost three years ago? $266, $459 today. Now it's $1,500. Well, that's up talking just the component. Right. Well, what happened to you happened to us. But they should have been done three yes. years ago. We can move you on. had enough money. You had to borrow a little bit. Okay, first of all. Everything is stretching and stretching. Same, same difference like certain. You stretch the roots out. So now it cost it in the millions. Much we could stretch it five more years if we listen to the engineer, but we won't. Sometimes you got to put things prematurely, okay, for better Why didn't you tell us that three years ago? I did. You had a guy here. You wanted to be the, uh, the liaison for the roof committee. Okay. Roof zone. Okay, now, everybody's talking about the loans. Let's do the loans and we take a move on. Okay, we're going to talk about the loans. What, what happened with the loan is we had several meetings with Ron and Angie and Milt and Lynn and myself, and we're still meeting with the banks. Milt, do you want to make a report on it? Okay. For um, As many of you know, um, we had the need to take out a loan for some of the expenses that we have been talking about. 
And a while back, we had hired actually First Service because they have a division. It's First Service, it's first service. Financial. It's first, for, first Service Financial. It's a division of them. It's a division of First Service uh, to expedite and um, that loan process for us. And the company First Service, the person that we've been dealing with, uh, came up with Capital Bank. Capital Bank had offered to us a 6% loan over a 10-year period. Um, unfortunately, Capital had asked for some requirements that you would not believe. And the major stumbling block was they had asked us to deposit in their bank $1.8 million for our $2 million loan. It made absolutely no sense. They wouldn't budge from that. So today's meeting, we are going to, the board is going to switch. We have been offered another bank. Um, that bank is... Um, Wintrust. Wintrust initially give us, had given us a, uh, a, um, an interest rate of 6.75. Uh, First Service Financial has gotten it down to 6.50. In essence, over a 10-year period, it's a $60,000 difference between capital and Wintrust. So it's not an extraordinary amount that's going to kill us, that $60,000. It's stretched out over a 10-year period. So that's the latest. We need to inform after today's board meeting. We need to inform First Service, the people at First Service Financial, that the board has agreed to switch over to win trust, um, and the paperwork for that needs to go forward. Now, unfortunately, capital put us in a bind because they delayed us with so many questions. Um, so many things that they wanted us to sign. I think Mike and Lynn had to sign documents that basically were almost selling their soul. And it got to the point where the, 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 the thing that stopped it was that $1.8 million to the deposit in their account, which nobody in their right mind would do something like that. So um, we're going to go with Win Trust, I hope. The problem, we're going to make a motion to go with Win Trust. Uh, hopefully the board will uh, uh, pass that and we will sign the paperwork. Now what's happened because of that, it delayed our roofing work because we can't sign a contract with a roofer. We can't sign a contract with the structural repair company. So we had wanted to start the roof work and the structural repair work in January. That will be delayed. The uh, structural repair because that company is now taken on other business, other associations basically before us. So now we're going to have to wait a couple of months for that to begin. So instead of it beginning in January, it may start in March or April, possibly May, who knows. The roofing work, which was also going to start in January, I think he said he would start it in March, February, March. February, March. Everybody's so March. again, uh, we can't move forward until we lock up that loan so that con the contracts that we need are going to be signed. So that is the latest. If you have any questions, you could uh, ask. Make a motion to... Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm making a motion to accept uh, Wintrust uh, as the bank that we will be taking a 6.5% loan over a 10-year period. I'm, I'm sorry, the $2 million loan at a 6.5 interest rate. Which is how much? Of, um, we have a second? Do you have a second on the, on the yes, motion? I'll, I'll second. Okay, all, all in favor? Any all questions? Questions. Any questions? All all the questions. questions? Yes. Okay, this gentleman back here didn't say anything yet. Go ahead. What about me? You just recognize But you've had his hand up first. Right? You can't see it. Mike can. Yes. One of my eyes now. All of us are looking to the bottom line. Okay, okay. And that's why we're here. So this assessment, I hope you're here for more than that. I'm hoping you to find out what's going on with the association, but to answer your question. That's what's going on with the association. But to, yeah, but to, to answer your question, and I think I mentioned it to you once before, at, when we had it at 6%, we estimated that it would be anywhere between $45 and $55 or $60 a month over a 10-year period. 60, changing it by a half a percent is not going to make that much of a difference. So again, what will happen, the next step, 
once these contracts are, once the loan is approved, and again, it has to go to our attorneys before it's approved, they will work up the actual numbers for us. And so while I'm giving you an estimated, estimated number, um, the attorney will actually give us what the one bedroom and what the two bedroom is going to be, but it's in that range. It's a tenth. It's a oh, lump sum. Oh, again, uh, that's the monthly over a ten-year period. While we have discussed if someone wanted to pay the loan up front, how much would it be? I think we said about five thousand and change, something like that. Again, the numbers have to be resolved by the attorney. I'm just purely giving you guesstimates on my on our part, really. And it was so, you said before that the work is being delayed. Is that are our prices that we're going to pay now? Are they locked in, or there, is it going to be The more? roofer has locked in the price, and so has the structural and engineering all, company and all the locked in. All the anticipated construction is going to be at the price that we negotiate. So the three major contracts, which is the third one, is painting, which we had the money anyway. That's all been locked in. But, you know, God forbid something happens, you know, their word can say, I can't do it anymore. Unfortunately, it's, it's gone beyond where we really wanted it to be in terms of the delay. Yes, Fred. Fred had seen that. So <clears throat> we're switching um, to Sun, SunTrust? Is that it? WinTrust. From... The subsidiary Sit. of First Service. No. Uh, no, 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 no. No, it was another city. It was another city. Bank. It's a different bank. Well, didn't you say First Service Financial? They they helped negotiate the contract for us. Okay, so I have a question since we're talking about contracts. Uh, I looked this morning, and I still can't find the First Service contract. I found something called addendum to the First Service contract. Ron, can you tell us why when... Lynn said at least two months ago to put the first service contract on the portal. Why you haven't done that yet? And what is this? Wait, 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 time out. Fred, let's do that after this. Okay, okay? fine. Because it's really, right. although you're interested. Are yes, you? Are you? Is there a prepayment penalty on this loan because interest rates are supposed to theoretically yeah. come back down if we wanted to renegotiate that loan and get a better no. price? No. No prepayment penalty? No. Right, Ron? They said. It's, it's, a good, it's a good question. It's a good question. Yeah. But we, can you find out, Ron? Didn't we ask that about capital and they said no? They said no. Capital was crazy anyway. We, we checked with capital. Ron, remember, Ron, we brought that up at that meeting? We brought it up. We, hit, we were meeting. It's yes. a valid question. And it's a good question. Ron, but we, we brought this up. We've been meeting like four days a week. It's crazy. But uh, that question, the good question, was brought up. And my other question is the 45 to 55, that's our in addition to what the increase is today. Correct. Correct. That has nothing to do with the increase. That's the carrying charge. Are we paying a finder's fee or a referral fee uh, no. to the new company? No. What? what happened was First Service Financial went out and looked for us. They went out because they are a management company. They went out and looked for it. They came up with uh, City. And then we said, that's not acceptable. The three of us who represented you said, that's not acceptable. Let's get something else. They found out this other place. It's cheaper. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's more beneficial to us. We looked at, this is it. So we said, it's time to bring it back to the board so that we can go forward so everybody knows what we're paying. If we had gone with their choice, they would have gotten a, no, that's two a, choices. a referral fee, right? Is that right? They have a contractual no, right? No, we didn't know referral fee. Well, they do have contractual rights but, to Yeah, but they didn't, they didn't charge us a referral fee. Thank you. I know. Yes. Can I, can I, we have to correct that. That's not correct. There's, there's a saying. correction. For first service to be the expediter for this, there was a fee. It was a $20,000 fee to do this. So this was not, this was not, it's not a referral fee. It's just to help us get the loan and to look at the banks to get the loan. That is a standard practice that, that First Service Financial does. How do they help us for that twenty thousand? They're getting us. They're helping us get the loan. The paperwork is enormous. That's twenty thousand dollars enormous. Apparently, it is. Yeah. I checked with the attorney. I said they're giving us a twenty thousand dollar fee to look it up for us. He said that's normal business. It's nothing that's unusual. 
We did before we did it. We checked with the attorney. Well, he it said, should be disclosed. Yes. Well, we, we checked with the attorney. The and that's why I'm asking about the contract, because in the contract there's a disclosure, and they won't show us that Well, they'll, they'll show. Trust me. They'll show. It for you. I'll get it for you. It's almost expired, by the way. I know. It's only another yeah. year to go. Yes. Mike, Wait one second. That, she wants to ask a question on it. Go ahead. And the estimate they gave us was based on that inspection that they did. Are we prepared for what they find when they start the work? Yes, yes, for the extras? Yes, 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 ma'am, we are. We're prepared. We're ready to go. We're ready to go, we just put more on the road. I, I know it's a variable. That's okay. Yeah. What, what we're doing now is telling you we're putting all our ducks in a row so that once we start, there'll be no problems. The roof will start, they'll fix it. But the, what the uh, engineer reports should be fixed, will be fixed. We're already, that's why we're doing all this. Yeah, because when they open the expansion. Yes. But, but it's in the new, because of what happened in Ainsley, which is what you're talking about. Right. Our bid from, from the contractor included that. Yes. Oh. And what about what happened in Hyde? One assessment and then a second one. Uh, but what happened in Hyde has nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with us. Look, to be honest with you, Everybody here who has done construction in their apartment or anywhere, if I open that wall, am I going to hit a pipe? Am I going to see something that shouldn't be there? We know what the bid is. We've added additional funding in case there has to be change orders made to that bid. Okay? What, what we're doing, right? all included in that loan that we're taking out. We all have our information. I want to call a vote, please. Uh, one second. We all have our information. What we're doing now is telling you we're putting all of our ducks in a row so that what we tell you is going to happen. We're not going to say, we're doing this, and then next week say, oh, no. Yes, ma'am. We said we have $2 million. The cost is $1.2. Above that, we're taking another $2 million. What are we doing with the $0.8 million? What are we doing with what? The $0.8 million. $1.2. And we're taking a loan for $2 plus, million. Yes. Plus yes. 400000 let's say. So that comes out to one. .6. 1.6. Yeah, yes, ma'am. We're giving ourselves a lot of money. Look, we may not use it. Okay. But there are other issues that this build that these buildings right, need. Kind of yeah. So when people were talking about why aren't we thinking about the future? We are. If you remember me talking, uh, you know, you remember me having a butt up my behind for the elevators. Right. Okay. These are 50 year old. Well, you know, no. you know, you heard me speaking about it. Right. You, no. People who've been here heard it. Harvey no. knows about it. We've spoken about elevators and what we do with 50-year-old elevators. So it's very possible that we will take some of that money and use it to refurbish all of the elevators right. instead of waiting for them to break and get hit. That, that's stuff. one of the biggest questions now is the elevators. Will we have money, God forbid, if we need it? Yes, we have. We anticipated that. All right, point of order, I'd like to call the vote. Okay. I call the vote. You make a motion? Read the motion. I don't know if I have it correctly. Yeah, take the mic. Uh, take the mic. I may have to add some wording. Uh, Milt made a motion to accept Wind Trust as a bank for a two million two million dollar loan for interest of six point five over ten years. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Okay. And Bertha Wexler seconds the motion. Want to vote? Yes. The all in favor? All yes. All yes. Yes. A. All, all a. yes. A. Yes. Yeah. All yes. Okay. Let me get back to the agenda here. We're going to have to uh, take a board, board vote. We've already approved it. We have to take a board vote to vote on insurance package. Can you uh, the point of order? Yes. How, how did, when did you approve it? She has a question. Yes, that, that, how long is the roof good for when we 20 years. So we're taking a loan for 10, but is it possible to extend it to 20 years so the manager is still spent the The insurance no. company is now looking to make us do a new yeah. every 15 years. Okay. Right. Yes, Fred. Point of order? Sure. When did you approve the insurance? We didn't. He said he has to do it Excuse me. No, I'm did, did we the approve it until last question. Did we approve I would it? like the chair to respond. Oh, he just said we approved it. I just want to know when you approved it. We're doing it now. Yeah, we're going to prove it now, but no, 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 you we said we've already it. approved it. No, we discussed it. We because you can't it. approve any contracts except in this room in front of all of okay, us. What, what am I doing, Fred? Well, 
You didn't say that. You said we already uh, approved it. Well, we talked about it. We check your hearing. We're next. approving it. We're approving it. They they they're good except when you did. Okay. We have a motion. Lynn, did you make the motion? I didn't do anything yet. Okay. I make a motion to accept the 2024 formal renewal insurance policy. I have a second? Yeah, talk. You second the motion to accept it? Right. Okay, on, on vote. Second. I have a vote. There you go again, voting without asking. We just ask questions. All right, what's your question? No, we didn't have questions. The board has okay. I have, I have, I have a question. Okay. I'll yes. yield to the board. Okay. Yes. Um, can you explain to me and maybe some others of the board how we arrived at this particular company and if there were other bids that were looked at before we made the decision? Yes, they were, and they'll be on the website. The, the new bids, the, all the bids that were taken were on the website. Just to, yes, Fred. Uh, can you tell us who the other bids were? No, I I don't know the name of them. You don't know the name of them. Did you man. did you study the other business? Yes, we have an insurance company. Uh, we have an insurance Cornwall. committee. No, no, no. Cornwall doesn't have an insurance. No, no. Committee. Yes, we have a represented by an insurance committee. Well, it makes recommendations. Me. Uh, does this bid exceed our budget by more than five percent? In other words, does this bid represent more than five percent of our budget? Yes, it, it does. Right, a lot more. Yes. It's the second largest line item after cable yes. in the association, correct? That's correct, yes. All right. Under the statute, any, any bid for services or goods, we must, over 5%, we must obtain competitive bids. We did. Where is the on other? The web, on the website. No, I looked this morning. There I know. Are, it's no. not this morning. I, I insisted that they be put on there. Well, wait a second. As unit owners, don't you think we should be able to look at these bids so that we can intelligently contribute to this discussion? I think that we need to delay this vote because First Service is not doing their job. And you as fiduciaries are asking us to approve things without showing us these competitive bids. Okay, thanks. Now, if you sign this contract today, I intend to start a case with the Department of Business that you failed to take the competitive bid. Now, you want to expose Fred? Cornwall to a fine? Be my guest. We're but I'm to, asking we're you on it. to re re delay this nope, vote we'll vote until you show us a second bid. I heard you, Fred. Mike, did you have something to say? What's that? Set. Vote. Oh, yeah, well, let's vote for what do you mean adjourn the meeting? Oh, Who are Fred, you going to tell Fred, us to adjourn Fred. the meeting? Wait a minute. I, I already said the meeting. that. I'm the meeting. Why is he telling us to adjourn the meeting? We didn't get to go to welfare. Just just Hold it. Mike, we didn't vote it. Mike. You didn't want it? Anybody else? Okay. Milt, you ready to vote? Can I make one? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Fred, Fred. Let me talk. Uh, the resolution that you're going to vote on right now, you have to have it Got to read it. Got to put your glasses on to read it. I don't have that broken down. No, you only broke it down. But it's like, I premium, whatever it said in the budget, four hundred and something thousand. I just think for for minutes to be as it's going to be looked at over the years, we have to have that information. I don't know what you want. I want to know what the premium is. I want to know what the company is, but I want to know what the amount of the insurance. That's it. If you want to know what the company is, <coughs> this will be on the website. No, 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 in the resolution. I can't give you what the, what the monthly thing, you want what our monthly. I want to know what the total premium is for the year. I just told you. You didn't, you gave me the amount of the insurance. In the minimum. I want to okay. Are we paying 
That's all I want, just clarification. Total premium in taxes is, Mel, you got your glasses on, I want to read that top then. Total premium in taxes. $506,000 approximately, a little bit more. <coughs> and it's broken down into monthly payments. No, no, I don't, I don't care about that. Okay. So I, I think that this is fair. I think we should vote on it. And if the state sues us, we'll, we'll fight in court. Okay, you have a motion? Yes, I make a motion for the 2024 insurance renewal, wait, for the 2024 renewal of our insurance policy. With Plasterage. You with have the to name the company. Agency. Okay, we have a second? Just a question? Yes. Does it have to be voted on today? Absolutely. Yes. yes. Well, when, is, when is the deadline to? January 1st. January 1st to start January taking the money. 1st. To start yes. taking the money. No, out. the only thing is we're in a bind now. What's the bond? Because the way Fred says. Fred can say whatever he wants. The portal for the people, and now we've got to vote. I don't know which is the. Well, I say we vote on it, and then if Fred's right, we'll lose. If, it's, if we're right, we'll win. So you're going to risk uh, Cornwall's money on a lawsuit? I'm the president. I can do that, Fred. And you're going to I'm the president. The you were already the beat down in 2016 I'm, by the state. Let's go for number two, Lima Jones. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see if see. you're wrong and we sue you. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> you can sue. Can we, we cancel if we had to? Let me judge the county. No, we can't. Let's vote on it. Once you take it? Let's vote on it. Well, I'll vote last. Go ahead. What is the increase on the insurance from last year? What's that? What's the increase on the insurance? Need insurance. It's now 526. It's 424. 424. It went up. It went up. Uh, they anticipated 50%, then they put it. Yes. Bertha? It ended up going 30%. Can Mike, can okay. I, Mike, can I make a, Can I talk first before? I have an issue with this as well. Um, I would like to see bids. Now, I didn't realize that January 1st was a deadline. So what I would suggest is today is Thursday. Uh, we have a few more days. I would vote yes on it if I saw other bids. I can't vote a yes without seeing other bids. So that means that, means that, you, don't, that, means that you don't trust me. <laughs> because I'm telling you, well... Well, Fred, I I'm sorry. They, I That's think, the laugh of the year. I think they would trust me before they trust you. Yeah. Uh, we'll see about uh, that. Yeah, we will. All right. So what uh, I, I think you're making a mistake. I think we have a bid. I think it's perfect for us. I saw the bids because we have an insurance company. The bids are going to be on the portal today. I spoke to Angie yesterday. I mm -hmm. wanted to know why they weren't on. They should be on now. I spoke to Plaster yesterday. They should be on now. They're not yeah. on now because Fred, they don't put any Fred, on until after the Fred, fact. One more time, I'm throwing you out. Yes. Is this the same company we have the insurance with currently? Yes. Sir. Yes. And what's the deductible on that? Do we know? What was what? that? The deductible. For what? For the insurance that we'll purchase. For what? Each thing is different. Each thing is different. I see. The biggest thing, the biggest thing that's happening in Century Village is slip and falls. What's happening is people are saying they're slip and falling, not us. And I won't mention the, the associations. The associations are being sued because some friends fell in the elevator. And now four of her friends, they say, are suing or something. So I, uh, what I did was I said that. Uh, it's going to increase. Yes, Lynn. What are the deductibles? You didn't answer that question. Well, there's a family deductible. Because it depends on the item. Yeah. Which item is doing. Spell them out. Look on the portal. There are. They have many. It's not on there. Well, it's a friend. It's not going to be on the portal. Lynn. By Monday. Call us back. Lynn. For Wednesday. I would do that. We'll notice a public meeting. I would do that. Vote. On that one item. I would do that. Okay, you ready? Oh, wait a second. Don't you have to give Harvey? I think don't you have to give a couple of weeks' notice before you call the meeting? Before what? You can't just call it for next week. Okay, let's vote. Can we call? Can we call an emergency meeting? Are we going to vote on this contract? Are we voting on this contract? Yes. Okay. 
We're going to vote on a contract, eh? Yes or no? I'll wait to everybody else. Okay. Okay, I make a motion for the 20, 24 renewal for insurance policy with Plastic Agency. Okay. Do, do we have a second? We have to do each building. Okay. Are uh, we voting now? Yes. Yes. So do the A building. I'll wait to. Uh, I'll wait to. <laughs> okay, so Bertha, is, how do you vote? B is not here. Yeah. yeah. Not here. The C building. At this time, I can't vote yes. Okay. D building. Are you voting no? I'm voting no. No. And A Same. voted. No. A voted no. No. I no. A vote. building didn't vote. What do you say? Just waiting. It's the a, D building. A passing for the, the moment. The D building. Bertha. The D building. Yes. D. E. Yes. Director at large. Yes. So what's the vote? That's why he didn't vote yet. Uh, Harvey, where, where are we at? Where are we at? You, you're the last one to vote. Yes or no? Where are we at? What's the? It's what's three yes. Hold your conscience. Three yeses and one Harvey, no. It's three yes and one no, so far. So I'll vote no. Okay, so it's three to two. So okay, so it's passed. The motion carries. Okay. Split board. The only reason I voted no. I voted don't, you don't have to make care. excuses. You voted no. That's it. Protect the. Protect what? C is no. Okay. The C was no. A was no. Correct. And the others were yes. And the three others were yes. D. All right. D. Yes, it was D, E, and Director of Lodge were right. yes. So it's passed, right? Okay. Oh, so it's I'm passed. going to go to uh, Good and Welfare and. Anybody have on the, on the good and welfare? Yes, miss. Hi, good morning, Lisa. Um, I live in Cornhall Beach, and I have a question. Um, I'm looking for a comment on the... Could you speak a little loud? I, I live in Cornwall Beach, and I want to comment on the beautiful landscaping everywhere in Cornwall. But I have one little issue. Uh, behind me in the back, we're facing the lake. It's several years now, I'm looking at the one tree we have that is like 99% dead. Uh, I'm wondering if it would be possible to well, remove come it and put tell grass. Me, come up, give it to me writing up on the landscape, okay? okay. Thank you very that much. way I'll know exact, exactly where it is. Yes, yeah. Harvey? Yeah, I have, I have several questions. Go ahead. They're just questions, they're not criticisms, they're not Go ahead. The tree trimming. The company came, trims a certain number of trees and left. That was two and a half weeks ago. Right. When will it, when will it uh, All right, let's keep it quiet. We're going to... Don't hear him. Really can't hear the guy. That's why they're talking. Don't right. You, don't hear you, Harvey. Yeah, I'm Take sorry. The mic. Take the mic. I'll repeat it. I'll repeat it. Okay, I got a whole bunch of lazy Let him take the mic. Okay. Take the mic. Get off your butt, Harvey. This is about landscaping? Yeah. You talking to me, uh, sir? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a question for Ron. When will the tree trimming be completed? The tree trimming, when will it be completed? Right now we have half a job. For another association, a week and a half ago, they said they were in the process and not quite finished yet, so I don't have a definitive date. Okay. Question number two is, um, when will the mold and mildew on the ornamental bricks be power washed? Right now it poses a danger to any visiting grandchildren running around loose. That's mold, and that's loose. Can we schedule it? Well, it's usually yeah, scheduled. It's usually scheduled. It's usually scheduled. But if there's a, if there's a problem, I know I usually it's order it myself when I schedule when I feel it's necessary. Okay. Um, uh, the state the state mandated repairs. When are they scheduled to begin? If they're if they're scheduled to begin. Depending on how the loan stuff works out, your roof will likely start in February or March. The structure will probably not go through to the summer. Good. Thank you. Uh, when was the last time our water quality was tested? I'm only asking because while county water quality is satisfactory, the water quality can be adversely affected when it enters our 45-year-old pipes to each building and then to each apartment. Has anything ever been verified or, 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 or inspected? This is a meeting going on. Well, there's no answer. Yes, 
supposed to, in the morning, you're supposed to let the water run for several minutes. We, we do. It helps. But these are 45-year-old pipes. They could be lead. They could and be we're putting anything. money There's in. No no lead. There's no lead. There's no lead. There's no lead, they say. There's no lead. They're, they're all copper, copper pipes. pipes. Thank you. Then you answered the question. Um, my other questions have to do with the roof insulation, but that's going to have to wait until the financing is settled. Like he said, for landscaping, they're doing the other, they're doing the other associations. Okay, any guess, Mike? I have another point. Am I on order? No, that's what we're talking about. I'm not about this subject. That's, that's okay. Any subject you think is. I'd like to suggest a compromise on this insurance deal because there's obviously a lot of people that are concerned about it. I happen to be involved in several projects uh, in my consulting business on insurance. And one of the major reasons was the hurricane that hit the West Coast actually put State Farm in a deficit for the first time in its company's history. So it's a major issue. It's also a major issue the way you construct insurance proposals. And I'm the suggestion that I would like to make is that we come up with a committee either within the board or the board pick out persons that have knowledge on that <coughs> and do research on future insurance because anytime you have a consistent vendor, you have consistent increases. I found that out in business. Yes. And every year, and my when I had my business, I got anything that hit the top ten expenses, every one of them got to new vendors for the opportunity to cut my cost of doing business. I think this insurance is a serious deal. I think Florida is absolutely gouging. <laughs> there, uh, the people hear everything from your uh, cost of your condo insurance. I, I went to 18 companies in order to get a uh, insurance quote on my condo, and it went from 1,600 down to 1,000. 18 companies I had to go to individually. Our structure for insurance needs to be examined, and I'm asking the board to consider to do that for this coming year, not this year. We're too close. Move on. But we need to look at that structure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, yes sir. Hi, I'm in Cornwall A. I had a question about the, the pool. The, um, the pool? Yes. Yeah, is that, is that okay. okay, go ahead. Thank you. The, the new light switch was put in when it was redone, and the light comes on automatically. Yes. This is a problem if someone is a Sabbath observer, if they're turning on a light, on, uh, on the Sabbath. So I want to know, could that be just put back to the an old switch that goes on and off? Well, what we'll do is ask somebody, I push the elevator every Saturday for my neighbor who goes to the shul, and they can't push the elevator button, so they wake, they help me at 10 o'clock every morning to push the button. So I can't change, I, I'm sorry, but it's not a religious, uh, wait, 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 wait. you know, we can't do that. We can't make question. exceptions, yes. Okay, well, uh, that, Let him finish. Let him finish. I, I, I want to ask him. I don't understand what he's saying. I want to follow up. It's a switch. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask my question. Am I to understand it that a religious person walking by a electric, you know, an electric no. eye no. sensor? Okay. What, what's the problem? I don't understand. It's an automatic. Fred, Fred. I, I want to understand okay. what he's saying. He says Explain he can't it. Do it. It's as if he turned on the light himself by doing that. By walking through something, or walking into a room. We a violation a with who? We had, we had a problem. With God, Fred. It's a with God? Well, we're not a religious Fred, community. Fred, 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 let me ask. So why should we Fred, Fred, please stop. God at stop. our expense? Fred, why are you, you made your point. First of all, the pool doesn't yelling? belong to us. Like That's right. West. What's that? The pool doesn't belong to us. Yeah, I know. I'll bring it up to Sin West. No, no. He has to bring it up. Well, I can bring it up. Good. That's, that's good. Thank you, Larry. You have to go you to Sherry and fill out a, a form. And but I can I can tell you the answer already. Yeah. And that'll increase Cornwall's electric bill Fred, too, because Fred, the lights will stay Fred, on. Fred, Fred. Why can't I make you let everybody else talk when I want to follow up? It's out of order, right? Well, yes, it's out of order because all he's talking about I'm is the lights. I'm looking for the welfare making, of think Cornwall. He's trying to kill somebody. We take out those switches, we pay more electric. How do you know? 
Because it'll be left on, like it always was left on. Maybe it's going to be left off. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Like they pick up the poop, right? We, yes, sir. Uh, Bob Moskowitz. Uh, What's that? Cornwall A. Bob Moskowitz. Right. So yes. You mentioned that some other association has some lawsuits due to slip and falls in elevators. Yes. So I'm not all of them. Not, not just in elevators. A, well, okay. But if we have very smooth floors in our elevators, perhaps you should uh, consider putting down frictional surfaces to prevent. But we, we don't have that problem. Can I respond to that? Yes. Yeah. When, you heard me mention, when, you, when you heard me mention before about some of the things that we would like to do, yeah. well, that's one of the things that, in terms of the refurbishment of the elevators, that was on a list, and everything got put aside when we had to do structural and, and, uh, and roof. Unfortunately, Harvey will tell you, because Harvey... Was it three years of working on the elevators? The elevator maven. Five years working on the elevators. And every year something happens where we have to put the elevators aside the except for the parts. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the yeah. So we're trying, you know. Okay, anything else? Yes, sir. Could you speak a little louder? Come up here and speak a little louder, please. I'll show you. Yeah. Okay, I, I've been walking around the parking lot, and I've noticed there were eight vehicles. Hey, come on, let the gentleman speak. What? What? what happened, sir? There's eight vehicles in our parking lot whose plates have expired. So people have dumped vehicles there, and they're staying there. Because it's private there. property. No, they brought in coat enforcement. Yeah, but they killed somebody up there, too. Where would you have? How long has it expired? One of them is 2007, I believe. 2007? It's probably a bogus plate on it. That's right. Well, what is the rule? I thought we don't enforce. No. I asked Lynn that. We don't. So? Well, West Palm Beach. We could, we could call the sheriff and see if it's stolen. It's 2007, Fred. All right. It's a long time. But I, I want you to know the other Century Village, they do report expired tales. Yes, they do. I see the license plate yeah. in his blog every week mm -hmm. for enforcement, and they told him, you know. Okay. Yes. You. We'll look, we'll look into that. Did you thank him for the Just give, the, give us the information, we'll give it to the, the, it's not It's not our property, yes. Yes, Mike. We uh, had refreshments uh, this morning, uh, right. and uh, the idea behind it was to encourage uh, uh, additional Pardon? people Come on, so uh, to show up to our meetings. Me. Thank you. Go ahead. And uh, I'm willing to do it a couple more times uh, if we, if the board approves. Uh, it's very rudimentary, but it was fresh. It was tasty. We had coffee. Get here 30 minutes early, and the Get a chance yeah, because to you can't have food in this room. Just a minute, Fred. Yeah. So uh, again, I'm willing to do it to encourage people to come if okay. it, if you approve. And it was kosher. And it was yeah, kosher. And it was kosher. I think it's absolutely disgusting that you have to bribe people to come to the meetings. I'm sorry, I can't hear. I think it's disgusting that you have to bribe people to come to the meetings. Everywhere is the same well, thing. We are we serve coffee. No. Okay. Can I respond? I, I was going to just get to that point. I want to see it for I said. I want to thank you, Anita, for two things. You will notice that we don't have Christmas or Hanukkah lights. Oh, that's what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah. What's that? We don't have them because they're, they're working on the water, and all of a sudden our lights disappeared. <laughs> so we're negotiating with the county to see if they did it. But thank you. And thank you. Excuse me. <clears throat> thank you for today. We appreciate what you and Nick did. They cut the wires, we think. Huh? We think they cut the wires. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, with regard to the refreshments, it's very generous of Mr. Solomon to make the order offer, but this meeting started 15 late, minutes late. 
and I don't need his coffee and cake. I eat my breakfast. How do, how do you know that the people who came late did not stop for I coffee? don't know anything. All I know <laughs> is when we don't have coffee and cake, the meetings start closer to 10 o'clock. Okay. So I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, that's your opinion. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. First of all, I'd like to say to correct Fred that the last two uh, minutes that were read started at 10 after 10 and 8 after 10, just to correct that. Okay. It's better than 10, 15. Right, all right, Fred. Okay. Right. What I'd like to say is that when somebody says something, I think we should all listen to what he has to say. Right. Now, what Mike said, his intention was to start at 930 to get us together to try to socialize. I know. Okay? That was his intention. I understand Okay? That. Which we should thank him for. I did. And did. not abuse him for what he tried to do. Okay, who has a hand up? That's it. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, back to the refreshments and all that. It could be that not everybody came out to this meeting because there's a lot of owners that do not live in Century Village. We have a lot of renters. Not so many. We have a lot of renters in Cornwall. Right. A lot of owners are not in Cornwall. No. Perhaps no. we should put some type of control to prevent new owners from renting it right away. We could get new owners to live here for a year or two before they could be allowed to rent. In other words, you want to say that you can't rent your unit until you, you own two units. That's already enforced. We tried that. Five years ago, we tried. Tried that. We, we got never killed. Never a response. No, it never passed. We got killed. We got, we, we did it. We sent it out. We had that response, sir. We sent it out, and we, and we got killed. Why didn't you send it out? That could be a board decision. It's merely a No, no, no. No, this, there can't be a board decision to tell them. Yes. Right. The first one said, I heard clearly, yes. party room A. The second one said, this is a correction. Right. I never heard what the correction was. The party room. What I did was, I knew they were having coffee and cake. So as soon as I heard the second one, I called downstairs and said, put a notice on the, on the entrance so we had the coffee. The call call meeting will be in room A at 10 p.m. Yeah, I because it, it sh what the yes, call but should have said. The it correction is no, no. The correction is yeah. refreshments well, will be served at 9:30. That would have been no, the no, third. No, no, no. The second one. I didn't. I I just heard the same time. So what she meant is yeah. not. Room A, the party, you know, it should yeah, know. show the contrast. Because I, I had to read the message three times. I thought it was a date error. I called Lynn Roberts. I said, what's the correction? She says, venue. I said, oh, why? She said, menu. I said, oh. And okay. then it turns out it was wrong, the correction. Okay. We're here. Okay. Okay. First service. Yes, motion to adjourn. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Mike, Mike, let me ask you one thing. Okay. What what is the next meeting? Right. Are we going to have coffee and cake or not? Or what? That's not up to us. Next, we, the the association does not have coffee and cake. We have a meeting. Our we don't next have... meeting is our annual meeting. Right. That's with voting and everything. So there will be nothing there. But in general, we, we, we don't have coffee. About we, having it or nothing? we don't have coffee and cake. No. no. <laughs> That's a budget item. Dying. That's a budget <laughs> item. We don't want to have coffee and cake. Okay. Okay. Well, motion to adjourn. Get, do, do we have a motion to adjourn? Second. All favor. Aye. Thank you. Second. Who second? I second. I second.